thought it was over. I thought the confectionery war had been won. I thought the last time I met with the gummy bear would be the last time. And now he's back. And he's brought his friends. I thought this was it. I thought we were done. Now I have to defeat not only the gummy bear, but the sweetie's fish and the sour patch children. We will employ our only weapon, potassium chloride. We will defeat these confectionaries the only way we know how, with rapid oxidation. We will meet them on the battleground in the chemistry lab where we will react their sugar and oxidize it with potassium chlorate. I only hope this is the end, that we never have to do this and our children will never know the pain and the suffering of dental decay. Round one against the gummy bear. All right, buddy, get down there. Look at this yummy candy. He's going to hit that molten KCLO3. And wow, look at that. He has rapid, rapid oxidation. Look at that poor little gummy. He's had better days for sure. Notice the white powder on the test tube. That's going to be some powdered uh, potassium chloride. It's a white powder. Uh, probably a little bit's escaping through the top as well. And you can see there's a lot of uh, smoke. That smoke is actually steam. Probably a little bit of uh, KCL being carried on the uh, convection current, and a whole lot of CO2. Now look at that brilliant color. Just look at the energy that's involved in this reaction. I mean, this is amazing how much energy there is in this reaction being released all at once and giving us a spectacular result. Now, let's try the same reaction in the dark because, you know, everything's better in the dark. And as you can see, that it's really lighting up the uh, fume hood. And look at the flames coming out of the top of the test tube. That's incredible. Uh, you can see the potassium chloride building up at the top of the tube again. And uh, it's just spectacular to see the brightness and all the energy in this reaction uh, in the dark. It's just incredible to me. I find this reaction to be fascinating. And let's look at the purple color of the flame at the tip of the test tube. Uh, quite impressive, actually, in my opinion. So let's move on to one of the gummy's friends. I think it's time that we take care of that uh, <clears throat> Swedish fish, shall we say. Here he goes. Now the Swedish fish didn't get totally submerged, it'll take a little time to react. But again, the sugar, as you can see, is reacting violently with the potassium chlorate. There's the flame shooting out of the top of the test tube. That's just really cool. I mean, just look at the amount of energy that we're seeing. Look at all the energy being released at once. And again, that purple color, that's completely because of the potassium ion being present. It has nothing to do with the color of the candy or the type of candy. Uh, here's a Sour Patch Kid. And as you can see, the Sour Patch Kids are loaded with sugar, and their sugars are reacting, and they are definitely reacting violently with the potassium chlorate, which is just really awesome. You can really see the uh, steam and the CO2 coming out of this reaction now. And again, the buildup of white powder on the test tube is potassium chloride. Just look at the energy, guys. I mean, just look at that flame in the middle of the test tube, just the energy being released from that sugar reacting with the oxidizing agent. Here's pure table sugar now. Should react a little bit more fierce because remember the gummy candies have uh, gelatin and things like that in them to slow the reaction down. The sugar is more, uh, sorry, less concentrated. Here this is 100% pure table sugar. And as you can see, it's, it's doing pretty well reacting with that molten potassium chloride. Really fascinating. Look at that beautiful purple color again. It is uh, again, is due to the potassium ion. And the black color you're seeing is no doubt just some charring of the table sugar that didn't get reacted, it got charred, it got burned instead. Here's fructose, um, mono, uh, monosaccharide found in, in uh, table sugar, and it appears to be reacting much more violently. I just love the purple flame in this reaction coming out of the top of the test tube. This kind of goes to show you how much energy really is stored in sugar, how many calories of energy you can really get from sugar. It's a fascinating little reaction, and I really hope you, uh, you enjoyed it. 
and we'll see you guys again.